In this video, we're going to show you how to create a circuit with an LED connected to a battery with a resistor. What we'll do is we'll simulate it and we'll make the LED light up like you see here. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to the 123D Circuits homepage. And I'm already logged in, so this is what the homepage looks like. And I'm going to create a new circuit. And I want to create a new breadboard circuit. So I'll click on that. And this will launch the editor. It says loading the unnamed circuit because it's brand new. So the first thing I like to do is go to the little gear icon. It's for settings. Click on that. And instead of the unnamed circuit, I'm going to call it light an LED with a battery, exclamation point. Okay, and that was settings. This is the materials, circuit board, schematic. We're gonna go back to breadboard view. And there's our breadboard. And I wanna show you now how to add a component. Click components plus. Let's scroll until we find a nine volt battery. When I click on it once, it sticks to my mouse. And I'm just gonna drop it down here and click it. I'll hide the components again. Now I want to explain how the breadboard works. The battery has a positive and a negative. If I mouse over it, it tells me that's the terminal positive, this is the terminal negative. And if I move the mouse on the breadboard, you see that a bunch of holes light up green. And what that means is the mouse is over a hole that is also connected to all of these other holes. That's what it means when they turn green. So here, positive is connected to all of these holes, negative is connected to all these holes. And if I scroll up into the main part of the breadboard, we can see how the rest of a breadboard is connected. It's, it's a very simple pattern. So let's add our LED. We go to Components Plus. There's our LED. I click on that, and I think I'll put it right here. Now, remember how I was saying these things were connected? What I can do is if I want the negative to be connected to the negative side of the LED, I can just click and create a wire. And now I'll connect this again with another wire so that the negative side is connected to the negative terminal and the positive side is connected to the, neg to the positive side of the battery. And I'll show you a little trick. We zoom in on the LED. You see that it has this ring around it. It also has a flat side. The flat side of an LED is the negative side. You can think of it as the negative symbol is a flat line, so you can remember that. Okay, so the next thing we can do is we can press Start Simulation. Hey, it lit up, but it looks like it's exploding. And that's because there's too much current flowing through the LED because we haven't restricted it with a resistor. Well, why don't we do that? press stop simulation. We need to get a resistor and let's say we replace one of these wires with the resistor. So we'll click on the wire and we'll press delete. Now we'll go into components. We'll scroll and we'll find a resistor. Now it's attached to my mouse. I'm replacing the wire. We'll hide this window again and we'll press start simulation. Voila! The LED lights up. Great! It's not very bright though. Can we make it brighter? Yes. To do so, we need to make the resistor a lower value. So with the resistor selected, I notice it says 1K ohm. That's 1,000 ohms. What if I made it say 1 ohm? Ooh, it's exploding because that's too low of a resistance. What about 1,000? Well, that seems to be okay. 100? Nope, not enough. How about 500? Oh, that's great. It's nice and bright. Okay, what if I wanted to change the color of the LED? Well, I'll stop the simulation and I'll select the LED and then in the drop down I can choose green, yellow, orange, blue, or red. Let's choose blue. Okay, now the LED is blue and I will press start simulation again. Voila! The LED is lighting up and it's blue. It's that simple with the 123D Circuits breadboard simulator. Go ahead, create an account, and try it for yourself. Thanks.